Alicia, welcome to your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. I hope all is genuinely well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for a Piscean. You might find some information in this reading that may resonate. Keep in mind while listening, Pisces, that this is a general reading and that not every single detail in this reading may apply to your situation. Take what resonates and let the rest go. What may not have been a message for you may have been a message for someone else. I encourage you, Pisces Nation, to not make any type of rash decisions based on what you hear from a general reading. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can, of course, book a reading on my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Lastly, Pisces, we're going to touch on some topics that you might feel are sensitive. If that's really not your thing. I invite you to go ahead and just click off this video. Otherwise, those of you who are ready to dive into this, let's get into it. Let's start with the channel messages for the Pisces Nation. If you would like to bypass this part of the video and go straight into the reading, the timestamp for where the reading begins can be found below. The letter E, the name Delilah, CPS, which stands for Child Protective Services, the name Knight, Judge, James, Texas, Tampa, LB, DVT, as in deep vein thrombosis, or this could be someone's initials. It's a Gemini. Tampa Bay, Mortal Combat, Miles, Esophagus slash Lungs. The name Ming, Choreography, Film Industry. The name Chuck slash Charles, 7th Street, David, Walter, Move In Special. 23 Chicago Bulls, Lakers, Tara or Rara. Full truck, full track. Wade in the water. I'm not supposed to be here. Roadrunner, Simp, Montgomery, Marathon. The names Lee, Wilson, and Ashley. Climb, Escape, Christopher, Toenail. DMV, past life, street light. That's another thing that I heard. A song called All of the Lights. Somebody might have epilepsy, possibly. The letter A, child needs a father. Destiny, wait till I get my money right. Kanye, Re Kanye West is um, significant in some type of way or maybe West, maybe the West Coast. Um, one headlight, approved slash accepted. Columbia, Milwaukee Memorial, Williams, Pinellas County, Nassau, Sarge, Linda slash Lisa, sobriety test slash breathalyzer, Coach B, Haven, Bureau of Investigation, out on bond, Detective from nearby county slash out of jurisdiction. The name Chris. All right, Pisces Nation, let's get into it. Let's see what might be going on over these next seven days. Pisces. <laughs> All right. Are you seeing someone, Pisces? Okay. Maybe someone is interested in you, Pisces. Maybe somebody is interested in getting in a relationship with you. Some of you Pisceans, you're single. I noticed that. So someone could be confessing that they like you. Maybe they're a bit too shy to say so, but I think that someone is interested in you. Pisces. Holy Spirit, show me Pisces. I see some of you might be coming out of a depression. Or maybe this is some type of cycle that you find yourself in. For some of you, this could be postpartum depression. Or this is someone that you're around. Um, you've been There's been a lot of things that have been on your mind. Possibly a particular person. Random side note, Pisces. Are you maybe, uh, maybe wanting to get your teeth fixed? You could be going to the dentist. 
to get your teeth fixed. You might be having something going on with your vision. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you Pisces, you're really hard on yourself this week. You might be kind of berating yourself this week. You might be kind of like looking at yourself and feeling that you should be further along in life than you are. Five of the words. This feels like this is a relationship that you're in. I think you are hard on yourself. I think sometimes Pisces, you might be your worst critic, your own worst enemy. I think you have been going through a hard time. You've been going through some type of adversity and you might have been struggling in front of other people. In fact, I think there are a lot of people that are watching you, Pisces, unless maybe you like you have some type of social media presence or you are in the limelight in some type of way. I think Pisces, there might be people that are kind of watching you. There might be some issues going on with your financial stability that is connected to your home in some type of way. And maybe this is what I'm talking about. Maybe you feel like you should be further along in life than you are. And it looks like the opportunity is definitely coming in. There's a Leo. There's a Leo that's coming in as well. As well as a Capricorn. Some of you could be encountering a Capricorn. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Some of you have a pet. King of Cups, there's a Pisces. Yeah, okay. There's a Taurus. Okay, is it that you're refusing to talk to someone, Taurus? It feels like if you're refusing to talk to someone, it's because someone has had a big someone that has had a big influence over your life. over your life, over a child in your life, it feels like this is what's on your mind. Either this is who is depressed or you're depressed possibly because of a strained interaction with this person. You may have had a really intense heated exchange with someone. And because it definitely gives off the vibe that Aries you might be on the Aries Pisces cusp, but Pisces, the reading is giving off a very strong energy that you're angry at someone, unless you're just angry at life or you're angry that someone does not step up and you're having to take on the brunt of something financially, or this is your partner right now. Okay, somebody that has an influence over your life. It's Gemini and as well, there's an Aries. Yeah, it seems like you're in debt or somebody is in debt to you. If somebody does owe you money, Pisces, just as a random side note, I got to read it because I see it here. If somebody is like behind in payments, somebody is paying you, but they're going to be paying you slowly. Somebody's going to be paying you in increments. It seems like you are. You're concerned about your financial stability. You might be concerned about your home, your living situation. Okay, some of you might be having some issues with your landlord or this is just like a heavy responsibility that you're looking for some of you i think you might be looking for a new place you might be ready to get out of a lease that you might feel kind of stuck and trapped in or some type of contract that benefits one but not the other one but it seems like again you're carrying a lot of financial responsibilities some of you you're looking into getting a new car like I said, it looks like you're looking for some type of status symbol because like I said, in the beginning, you might feel like I don't have enough to show for where I am in my life. Show for, are you a chauffeur? Some of you, maybe you're driving people around. Let's see, you got queen of cups. Okay, so let's chalk this up to a relationship. This relationship could have something to do with this king of pentacles. I did mention an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. I'm seeing um, a fire sign. I did mention Aries. I didn't mention Leo. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in Sag. Somebody has a really bad temper. 
or you just had a blow up with somebody lately or maybe this is just you potentially because you have a lot of pressure on your shoulders this week Pisces you have some type of issue with your shoulders like somebody might shrug their shoulders somebody might be hunched over you have a lot of weight on your shoulders somebody might be large chested there's definitely a move Florida I don't know you might have a link to the state of Florida Florida Keys you're traveling somewhere or this might be someone from a distance maybe coming to see you seems like you might be having family over you've been having an issue with someone and this might be where you find yourself feeling depressed because maybe you feel like you can't see eye to eye with this person. And it just seems like this week, Pisces, you're a prisoner to the past. You're worried about what everybody else thinks. You feel like you're under scrutiny, under a microscope. And maybe you feel like this is all happening while people are watching. Like you might not feel like you're in the best in the best time of your life lately like you've been going through something and there's people that are kind of judging you and watching you and you might feel a bit embarrassed there's somebody following you okay eight of cups following some of you could be i mentioned social media I did mention some of you, that might be where your influence is. Or that might be an aspiration of yours. You might be gaining an, uh, a, a larger number of followers. But this is feeling as though someone is just looking too hard into your situation. I do feel that something is your destiny that was a channeled message or someone's name could be destiny. I think you might be following your destiny. What is this about though? Cause you have a suspicion it feels like that somebody might be kind of like watching you or this type of thing. Yeah, you are, okay. You're worried about your living situation or this is just career you may feel like you don't have a direction to go. Like you're not sure what to do about maybe where to look. Or your plans have just been kind of thrown off. And this week, Pisces, your guides are really trying to go out of their way to help bring you back to center because it just feels like you are shackled to something stilling. Be still and know that I am God. I think that something has slowed down for you, Pisces. I think there could be something going on with your back. And I do feel like you might be looking back on a situation, maybe a decision that you made in your past, or this could be what someone else is doing. Because I did say the past is haunting you. Somebody feels like maybe they made a mistake with something in particular. And so it seems like now someone is having to, like circumstances are forcing you or someone to slow down and figure things out. And someone in your life, it seems like someone is stripping something away from you. Someone's trying to take credit from you for something that you've contributed to. And it just feels as though someone is trying to like ride on your coattails in some type of way by being a follower but all the while, someone is trying to strip something away from you. 
take the credit from you, to keep you standing still. So this is what I mean. You have an enemy. And whoever this enemy is, whoever this person that is opposing you, Pisces, they appear to be someone who's nosy or someone who might be looking into your past. This could be someone that maybe you're dating. Maybe they're interested. Maybe it's not nosiness. Maybe it's just curiosity. Maybe there is somebody that kind of wants to know what your dating history is like. But whatever this is, it does feel like there is a move that some of you are possibly experiencing or maybe experiencing in the future. Oh, that was a channeled message. Accepted slash approved. So that could be what it is. You don't feel like you have a direction to go. You're not sure where to maybe look for a new place or for a new job. Maybe this is like a line of work. You're not sure what to do next or what the future holds for you in a particular situation. And it seems like if you've applied for something, if this is a loan, I see an approval. If this is some type of application, you put in an application someplace, Pisces, something is approved. But it seems like it's due to some type of financial burden. Something is a burden for you. And it seems like it might be necessary for you to walk away from something that you might feel is a burden. For some of you, this relationship, finding a common ground with someone, being able to communicate on the most basic level, you might feel is extremely difficult with someone in particular. And maybe this week you find yourself upset about that. You're pissed about the past or you're looking back on a particular situation, a particular interaction that you've had with someone, and that might be igniting the fire all over again within you. You might have fire in your chart. Pisces. I keep saying Aries, so maybe this is, like I said, you might be a Pisces Aries. Mm -hmm. There is some success that I feel is coming in for you. And Pisces, it might be that you're frustrated right now because you're not sure about which direction to go in but something that you, that that your guides are leading to you leading you to is about to bear fruit it just feels as though yes this is a moment in life where it's time for you to maybe be still and wait for your spirit guides to speak or give you direction about something because it looks like you might be being a bit hasty or rushing into something, but really kind of ignoring what your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is guiding you in the right direction, but it just feels like you're having to decipher the codes that your spirit guides are giving to you. You're not able to decode these messages and it just seems like it's leading to frustration. Because it seems like for the longest time, Pisces, there's something that you've been trying to manifest or bring into your life. And you feel like this very thing has been eluding you lately. It may have something to do with, I said, the way that you're speaking to yourself. Or the way that someone in your past has spoken to you. Because it feels as though someone, like I said in the beginning, that has had a big influence over your life has caused you to, has contributed to you stepping into this arena of self-doubt especially about your calling but we were talking about this conversation right you're not able to have like the most simple of conversations with someone you feel like it's almost impossible to have a breakthrough with someone and it's also the fact that you don't trust them let's see, let's see why don't you it seems like it's due to some type of disloyalty that, that took place it could be about money this is for sure with a fire sign. This disloyalty may have um, a, a connection to money. What's going on? I despair for Pisces. Someone's thinking about coming back, Pisces. Possibly a Sagittarius. Someone's been contemplating for the longest time, maybe kind of 
seeing if maybe you and this person could move on to a better space mentally and emotionally. So somebody might be coming to try to smooth things over with you. It just feels as though somebody does not really know where to begin or know how to chisel away at your wall, Pisces. Call the change. I think this is the issue. I think someone does feel the need to change the situation, but for you, you're looking for a lasting change. And maybe that's something that you feel like you, that can't really be found with this situation because you might feel like this person is sending you on a wild goose chase. Like it's um, it's good one minute, it's it's terrible the next. When things are bad, things are really bad between you and this person, you might feel. For some of you, yes, I can't help but to notice. I know I'm bouncing back and forth between topics. You gotta bear with me. Like I said, I I don't I, I want to tell you a linear story. I really do, but I don't want to finish the reading and see certain things that I could have told you, but I didn't tell you because I wanted to be organized. I think you're worried about something, worried about something and it being a success. You wanting to create some type of success for yourself, but it or you're wondering if something is going to be successful, but it just feels like you're not there yet. You're not on the other side of this situation, but it does feel like you're about to reach a fork in the road or this is where you are right now, Pisces. And your guides are trying to get you to prepare for some type of crossing. Something in your life is in a state of flux right now but it just seems like it's not time yet but the time is getting ready to come in so basically i said that to say this you're going through some type of transition in your life and this is the time to use your intuition but this is also time to use your intellect your um, you may have to find a crafty way to go about doing something. Yeah. It's like you don't know when the timing of something is. Like you want to do something, invest in something, but you're not sure if it's the right time to make that move. And your spirit guides are saying, you know what? It is. Whatever someone meant for evil to take away some type of credit from you to strip you away strip something that means a lot to you away Pisces God will turn it around for good you're getting ready to advance you're getting ready to move forward it feels like it has a lot to do with your gifts and it feels as though you have a lot of self-doubt about showcasing what your gifts are. And it just feels as though your guides are saying, you're very gifted Pisces, but you might be hoarding this gift when you're meant to share it with other people. So I feel like there could be a lot of ideas some newfound motivation that you step into this week, some ideas that will create an avenue of income. And Pisces, I feel like this is passive income. I think that you're meant to be someone that enlightens other people. But I just feel as though it's the past. Things that people have said to you that have been negative, have left a lasting impression on you. Okay, whoever this was, like I said, they've had a big influence over your life. It's time to break away from that. Let's see, what's going on with the Pisces Nation? Yes, thank you, someone. Someone either doing this this week, or this is like what's keeping you from moving forward and keeping you looking in the past, keeping you running in place. 
that's what's keeping you in this depression. Whatever someone else has said to you that's left a lasting impression on you, now you're saying, now you, like I said, you're your own worst critic. Be careful of your mindset this week. It's definitely going to set the tone. But you have the ability to come out of that, Pisces. Some of you are looking for a job, Pisces. Um, some of you, there could have been um, a loss of a stream of income. It feels like. Or maybe this work journey that you're on, maybe you're not sure if this is the right direction to go in. You might feel led to do something entirely different. That's the fork in the road for you. Maybe you're feeling a bit indecisive about what to do with your career. And maybe you feel like you're looking back at maybe leaving a job or ending a contract. Maybe I do see anger. So maybe you left a situation in anger and maybe this is you looking back with a lot of guilt, feeling like maybe you made the wrong choice. Now, this is just you being very cautious, second guessing every decision that you're making. Okay, and this is the time to dig your heels in and trust, Pisces. Okay, because like I said, this is you. It feels like you have the ability to advance in your career. And I did mention that you have an enemy for some of you. This is somebody that's watching you. Someone is trying to create some type of an obstacle for you to keep you from advancing. Okay, so that's what this is. This is somebody running their mouth about you. I mentioned something online or in the public. Somebody is trying to say something against you or do something against you to keep you from advancing. It's like somebody wants you to act a complete ape, Pisces. Somebody wants to see you be angry. They want to see you be enraged and go off. You're too evolved for that though, Pisces. And I think that this is why someone is extremely bothered by you. You're looking for a job or you're house hunting. It feels like, remember I was saying the channeled message was approved or um, accepted. Maybe there's a child around you that wants to feel accepted and could be going through some type of peer pressure situation. There's a child that doesn't really understand or fully know their, their worth, yes, but the extent of their gifts or the reason that they're here. And there may be a child this week that may need some deep encouragement unless this is you Pisces your inner child that might just need some encouragement to be able to move forward out of the situation or to unshackle themselves from something that is just not really beneficial for some of you it's a relationship for others of you it's a job but for sure for a lot of you this is a mindset because it feels like for some of you a mindset is what's keeping you jogging in place it's what's keeping you from being able to advance in some area of your life. But that's what you're meant to. Constancy bears fruit. So maybe there is something that you feel called to do. Brightness hidden. This is either someone trying to hide your brightness or this is you because you're afraid to take a move to make a move towards something that you really want so it just seems like like I said you're holding your back yourself back from advancing in some type of way you're hiding your own light you're dimming your own light like I said at some point in the reading you have a very huge talent for something an undeniable talent yet you're hoarding this gift when your spirit guides are saying you know deep down within yourself that your guides are trying to push you out of your comfort zone to make something happen and to possibly showcase this gift or to use these gifts to help advance other people because in some capacity Pisces I feel like you are a teacher or you're meant to awaken the masses in some type of way I think that you're definitely a seeker of knowledge I definitely feel like like I said before you got people watching you or um 
some of you this is someone watching you for good reasons and for others of you this feels like this is out of pure jealousy that someone is trying to sabotage you but either way i feel like you already know that something about your circumstances if it's not your circumstances then it's something about your inner self that you want to change or that you want to improve or this is you, maybe you want to see someone in, in your life around you do better. But it's just that they don't want to change. And that could be the thing that makes you angry this week. You know someone is capable or has the potential of something more, but they just don't want to change. And for some of you, this is a lover. Or this is an ex-lover of yours. So if this... I started off the reading talking about a conversation. For some of you, this is an ex-lover that wants to come back and make this situation better, have a more solid situation with you, maybe create more of an understanding, or this is you having more of an understanding with your child. Because for some of you, there's a child around you that might see you just kind of blow up on them, feel like you have a short fuse. And maybe this is you kind of looking back on a situation with a lot of guilt and feeling like, okay, this might be depression over like we talked about mistakes that you feel that you made perceived mistakes and maybe this is a parent looking back and realizing that they've created a lot of damage for a child and this might be why a child is lashing out or being um very um giving you a lot of pushback lately this might be why a child is feeling a bit incomplete or indecisive about their life and so this is a parent looking back with a lot of guilt. And this might prompt a call from someone that you would rather possibly Pisces not hear from. But it just seems like there's some type of financial obligation or some type of emotional need of a child. And this could be the reason that you might hear from someone that you a, a parent of yours or someone that you co-parent children with. This person might be deciding to maybe give you a call and maybe they've been kind of sitting with that for a while. And maybe there is a parent that hasn't been around and maybe, you know, they've really been punishing themselves in some type of way. And I think that there's a parent that wants to improve a relationship here with their child. She looks like you come from a broken family, a broken home type of circumstance, Pisces. You an army brat? That was crazy. One of the channel messages was Sarge. Somebody a sergeant in the military? Yes. Somebody's willing to take it slow. And I think that someone would like to see if they can rebuild a situation with you, Pisces, because it seems like someone has maybe tried to avoid changing for a while, and now the spirit guides have gotten someone's attention to the point that they can't run any longer. And so I think that because someone does feel the need to change their reputation of you or the way that you perceive them in some type of way, you might perceive them as a bully or someone that has put you down or created labels for you. This could even be society. And maybe this is you. Maybe you are an activist Pisces and maybe you just want to see some radical change happen in the world. This is with you, with your kids. The woman is powerful. Do not take this woman. Mm. Someone might feel, Pisces, that you're very powerful. Mm -hmm. Very influential. And very beautiful. And this is why I feel like someone's trying to stop you. Yeah. Someone feels like you work with a lot of integrity. Or this is someone questioning someone's integrity. Especially maybe some people in the home. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Oh, okay. CPS was a channel message. Detective. Are you under some type of investigation? In Pisces. Mm-hmm. Jail time. 
oppressor oppression i think that's you i think that's that's your inner voice but this could be external from you okay somebody that's looking into your situation or they're looking at people in your home i don't know keep your blinds closed pisces it looks like somebody might be trying to look through your window so what's going on people? okay A woman's constancy is fruitful. The mother. Whatever this is, Pisces, that you're doing, whatever this is in your life that you are feel you feel called to change. This might be you changing the statistics, okay? Someone may have looked at you and your family as a statistic. Or this is you breaking the chain to some type of generational trauma. It seems like you, there, there's something about your situation where you are breaking the chain. For the people in your home. Yeah, maybe you were raised by a single mother. And maybe your father was not really in the picture. Or this is you. I think people are really looking at you. And feeling like you're someone of high stature or that you're someone with a lot of power. Yes. Unless this is somebody doing a power play on you, which was which is what this could be. But see, somebody feels like the like the way that you kind of portray yourself in public or this persona that you've kind of taken on, they feel, is just that. They feel like something about this is phony. So this is why someone is maybe trying to change the way that other people see about you. Someone is making a decision about you. Something is going on in the court of law for some of you. If this is a legal situation, and let's say if this is connected to like child custody, there is someone that is deciding or making a decision about you. Yes. You, the empress, you, the mom. You might have a small child. Or this is you and, yeah, definitely you and a child. You've had mm -hmm. deception. Someone is trying to paint this false narrative about you, Pisces or Crosswatcher. Or about people in your home I'm trying to feed stories we got birds here like like something could be happening on Twitter or something could be happening on social media it seems like news is spreading or someone is trying like I said trying to spread false news false tea about you you pregnant somebody could be given birth in the near future or someone has and somebody has a fear about this I don't like this energy. There's a Leo. You might have a son that's a Leo. The lovers. I don't know. Is this an ex of yours that has disappointed you in some type of way? Here's this Capricorn. Here's this Leo. Okay. If this is you coupled with someone, it just seems like someone is doing something behind your back that they shouldn't be. And, or there's been some type of conflict. Someone took something really too far. There's a Scorpio here. Somebody is coming back. Somebody may have allowed someone else to get way too involved in your situation. So let's say if this is like a mom and, and a, there's a mom that's just way too involved in her son's life. Maybe there's a, a mom that doesn't like who someone is dating, possibly. Somebody is pointing something out either about someone's a child's peers or this is some type of family interference. Maybe this is somebody baby mama doesn't like. Somebody has kids in multiple households or in more than one household for some of you. Somebody, this is like bitter baby mama issues or you got some type of baby mama drama. Yeah, somebody may not like that you speak highly of your baby's mom or that, that your baby's mom has more success and influence. This is what this feels like. Okay, somebody doesn't like your success. And somebody doesn't want you to. They want to see you fail in some type of way. Or they want to see your family, your, your family members fail in some type of way. Okay. Your children. 
it has something to do with a father figure. If this is a legal custody situation, someone is trying to take you down or block or hinder some type of success. Or maybe possibly get, block you from having access to your children. And you might be actually kind of shocked about how far somebody would really take it. Pisces. Someone won't be successful at whatever plan or plot that they're trying to come up with. Like I said, to strip away your reputation or to deceive either the public or something about you. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to prove that you don't have integrity or that you, what, what people see, there's some type of falsehood or illusion about this. Somebody's a smoker, and specifically somebody smokes camels. Either way, there's some type of positive change coming to your situation, Pisces. There's definitely change for the better. And your guides are telling you, they're trying to encourage you that more peaceful times are coming. And even if you feel like you don't have a direction to go in, a particular direction with something, Pisces, your guides are still encouraging you to go forward with confidence because it seems like something it was written this way it meant it was meant for it to happen this way even though your initial reaction to this might be fear and anger it seems like something may have happened this week for your liberation or it happened for you to see things differently or to make some type of a change in your life mm -hmm. arguing Somebody doesn't fight fair, or someone tries to dominate the conversation, or somebody goes straight to low blows, putting somebody down. And your guides are encouraging you this week, Pisces, to stay in control. Keep your composure about something. And stay positive about your future, because it does feel like something that you're celebrating is coming up. It could be... We're in Scorpio season. You could be celebrating the birth of a Scorpio. Because for some of you, there's a baby that's coming. And this might be a Scorpio child. Or there's a Scorpio birthday this, this week or this month. This week, it's going to be important, Pisces, for you to get rest. It seems like your body may really need to heal. It seems like it's gone through a lot. For some of you, there might be a surgery that you've gone through or you've had a C-section, possibly. But your guides are really encouraging you to see the truth and to follow your own path. If this has something to do with cash flow issues, it seems like money is going to be coming to a business, okay? Where you're, you might be, oh, okay, so there is something going on with your money, your financial situation. Let's look at that. There could, there could be some good news coming in about money. I mentioned a loan that could be coming through. Maybe there's some confusion surrounding money. Maybe there's someone that you feel does have money and they could possibly help, but they're not. Yeah. Something about your cash flow situation. Something begins to flow better. But this feels like it's due to you having to choose a direction when it comes to a fork in the road that you're at. Some type of crossroads. When I hear crossroads, it makes me think of Hecate, Elegua. Someone could be doing some type of um, manifestation to maybe increase their fi financial situation or to allow money flow to improve. Definitely, without a doubt, Pisces, somebody's trying to mess with your money because it feels like you're in debt. And if this is you wanting to move, there might be some type of credit situation that you might really want to look in and repair. Because it looks like at first you might be denied for something because of maybe a lack of credit, not enough credit, or your credit is shot right now. That might be. It seems like you're working on making some changes or improvements in your life. Okay. But I do see that, especially if this has something to do with the purchase of a car. That might be a little bit postponed, but it does feel like there is success in that area for you as well, Pisces. It just feels like so there's some type of delay. But whatever you're able to start today, you're procrastinating on something. Your guides are giving you some type of creative start, a creative idea that could ignite some type of passion that you have. 
and get a financial situation flowing better it just feels like you may need to let go of this fear that you have and have complete confidence about moving forward in the direction that your guides are trying to take you because they're definitely trying to advance you in some type of way advance your career yeah if this is not a pay week for you something might pick up okay over the next seven days that puts you in a position to have the money that you need okay whatever if this is a financial situation it does it feels like you're able to gather together the money that you need to make something happen mm -hmm. yes your spirit guides step in to provide for you or i did say that there's some type of manifestation that you're trying to work towards yes it seems like you're very capable of making this come through for you so we talked about your career we talked about everything it looks like holy spirit is there anything else for the pisces nation for these next seven days i did mention maybe you have an ex coming back um somebody that maybe you have been arguing with or you have argued with in the past maybe coming back to maybe they might be making a decision about that might they might be deciding whether or not to approach you they very likely will over this next seven days somebody might be kind of nervous to maybe um go in their turf i want to say taurus so bad this is a like also a fire sign it looks like they do but I also see new love, an opportunity to open up and maybe see what else is out there for you in the love department. And you might, some of you might welcome this new energy in and you might trust what it brings, okay? Because for some of you, it does. It brings a new partner, a new romantic interest because you might be ditching the old one or you already have in the past. person that used to put you down criticize you all that stuff they're encouraging you to be strong this week pisces some of you are on the aquarius cusp where you have aquarius in your chart as well as libra someone is not speaking the truth about you especially if this has something to do with a court situation if this is you going through a court situation be strong Somebody might seem to have more influence or power over you and it might feel as though um, this person that you might feel that the judge might have a bias toward this individual and they don't. Someone really does see someone for who they really are, Pisces, even though someone might be trying to deceive the public or deceive something in the situation. Okay. I think you might be hunting for a job, Pisces. The answer is yes. Okay. Well, with that, Pisces Nation, this concludes your seven-day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. If you found Pisces that this reading has been helpful to you, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subbing to my channel if you already have it. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can head over to my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. I currently have a sale going on this week for same-day 30-minute readings. If you would like to take a look at that, go ahead and head over to my website. Thank you so very much, Pisces Nation, for tuning in this week. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Have a beautiful, blessed, and productive week, Pisces Nation. I'll see you later.